what is going on in this corny city today? Like, what is going on in this corny city today? <laughs> this city is so washed, but the only conclusion I can come to is there must be an accident or something up above because other than that, there's no reason to have church. Come on, if you're coming over, Infinity. You can't be scared and you in the other lane. But yeah. Heading to run a few errands. It is so sunny out here. I hope my lips aren't too dry. Um, like I was saying, heading to run a few errands. Is there anybody else out there like me who prefers to shop by themselves? I love, love, love shopping by myself. It's kind of scary how much I enjoy being alone, but then I get in my moods where I want to be with other people. I don't know. I seen a quote that said, if you feel lonely when you're alone, then you are in bad company. So I have no shame in feeling good by myself. Like I love being at home, <laughs> chilling in my zen, being peaceful, being relaxed by myself. But yeah, so I have to go to Walmart and like the Dollar Tree, my favorite store. But I said, why not um, go to the outlets and go to the Walmart out there just because I wanted to go to the outlet. Nothing in particular. So that's where I'm headed now. Kinda late because that's another thing. I like shopping in the morning time. I just feel so dry. That's the first thing I need to get is some um, moisturizing lip balm or something. I put some shea butter on, but it's just looking really dry. That's also probably another form of dehydration. I need to drink some more water. But anywho, that's where I'm headed to Little Washington, PA. Washington, PA. I'm in PA. <laughs> to go to the outlet and go to Walmart so yeah nothing going on nothing going on <clears throat> it's like a lot of traffic for some reason that's why I like to do my errands and stuff early in the morning because I like my pe like I don't want to be in the stores with other people <laughs> like I just don't I need celebrity status where the stores can be open for me and I can have a private shopping session and yada 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 because I don't want to be in the streets with other people. The traffic, I don't know what the traffic is what the traffic is about because actually I haven't ran into any accidents yet. So I don't know what that was about. But we moving and grooving or whatever. So yeah. And I kind of just got you guys propped right here because I don't know where my um dashboard clamp is at and I'm not about to drive and look for it so yeah I low-key want to go to Ikea too but again I have absolutely positively nothing to get from Ikea I just want to go because who doesn't love Ikea Ikea is so fun it gives you inspiration um, if you're you know looking to redecorate or decorate yada 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 then they have snacks and stuff. I could give me a little snack. But I'm not going to do that. And yeah, I'm just trying to be safe. Right now, I'm only going maybe like 70 miles per hour. That ain't about nothing. That's light, light. You know, just keeping up with the fluff traffic officer. That's it. I don't know what the speed limit is. But I'm only going a, a cool 70. That's nothing nothing major but yeah I just wanted to get on here it's been you know nothing eventful too much going on but I just don't want to leave my few little folks that do be watching hanging but I really just be chilling y'all if I'm not traveling or something or like I have an event I'm not doing too much of nothing like 
And I don't even be wanting to go to events. I've been invited to go somewhere today and I don't want to go. Like, I just don't. I would much rather just be in my PJs. My sexy lingerie with my glass of wine or my glass of tea in the house. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's boring. It's pretty boring. But I'll come back maybe. Or maybe not. I was thinking about being corny and trying that uh, Burger King Impossible Whopper or something like that. I told my <laughs> I told my son I'm thinking about being my version of Pescatarian. I just like the name really, but I don't even know what it entails because I still want to eat chicken and shrimp and crab and stuff. Um, and then like an oxtail every now. And then. <laughs> <laughs> an oxtail every now and again and a juicy bugger every now and again but um <laughs> my son is such an a-hole he's like I'll support you whatever you want to do I'll support you he was like but yeah no and then he was like uh <laughs> we were talking about you know the land being polluted and stuff like that because me and my son have all type of conversation my son is such like a old soul and he was like yeah and you know the fish have to deal with that and live in that water he's like you over there trying to be his like, i'm gonna call you pesky and i thought he meant like naggy or something i said that's not appropriate to say to me you like what and he was like what like his face scrunched up like what are you talking about i said you talking about you gonna call me pesky like, I'm a pet, but then that would be pesty. But anyway, anyway, so he's like, um, yeah, and the, the fish have to eat that. And you talking about you want to be a pescatarian. He said you're going to be eating what they eat. Basically, all you want to do is eat fish. Because I asked him, would he be willing to eat salmon every day? Is it salmon or salmon? Either way. I asked him, would he be willing to eat salmon every day? And he was like, nah, but I'll support you. <laughs> My son is so funny. So I'm about to try this burger. My son said he already tried it. I think the burger's like five, six dollars. Y'all know I'm cheap. Y'all know I'm upset about that. I said, do I at least get fries and drink for that? And he was like, yeah, I doubt it. So, and the reason I chose, the reason I want to try it here is because I'm in the Caucasian area. So I feel like the Burger King will be a little, even though. I'll take that. Even though all races don't wash their hands properly and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. But I just know we don't have that many Burger Kings in the city in general. I'm not into that. The city, obviously, I'm in Washington, PA. But in the city, I can only think of two or three. And the one was just built, but it's dirty already. The crowd and stuff that be there. So I feel like maybe this will be better. But I don't know. We bought us what it's hitting for how much is it and how much is this impossible burger is it six dollars I hope it's not six dollars and then I don't like Burger King in general anyway because I don't like flame broiled shit and I don't like sesame seed buns. Am I the only weird person that don't like sesame seed buns? Like I have to pick my bread off. When I used to eat Big Macs and stuff from McDonald's, I would get the regular, um, like I would get the middle part, but I would get the regular bun top. They used to be irritated because I don't like sesame seeds. People are like, you can't even taste them. If you don't like them, you can. Them shits is nasty as hell. I don't know. They're just... I don't want... Like, who thought of that? I don't want little... I would eat some sunflower seeds if I wanted some seeds. Like, I don't want that. What time is it? I'll be right with you. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> oh, no, that's fine. Um, I want to say try the Impossible Burger. Um, what all comes on it as far as like lettuce and tomato and that? Comes with mayo, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, pickle, and onion. Okay, may I have that minus the tomato and minus the pickle? Just a sandwich with a meal. 
And I was going to ask, does the um, so the sandwich is six dollars by itself? Mm. The sandwich by itself. Yeah, I'll just take the sandwich and a cup of water, please. Six dollars. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Your total comes to five dollars and ninety-three cents for a second window, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Six dollars for a fucking fake ass burger? Like, this shit better be good. <laughs> Excuse my language, that is not ladylike, but my mouth is a sailor when there's no children and adults around. It just is what it is. Do I want the meal? Hell no! Nah. The burger by itself is six dollars. How much y'all finna charge me to add, add some motherfucking fries and um a drink? I'm about to probably go to McDonald's and get me a dollar fry. Do they even got the dollar menu anymore? I don't know. I don't even be eating fast food no more. <sighs> Six dollars for a burger. Oh, girl. Oh, my goodness, girl. <laughs> I'm going to come back with my, my first impression. I'm gonna probably, like I said, go to McDonald's and get me some um some fries though. My lips are a little bit um more juicy. I put some some uh let me put some more on. Like what I've I've like and why are my lips so dark? You would think I smoke marijuana or something. I do not. The devil is a lie. And I tried to get like some um I seen some DIY like well you know YouTube does a lot of the lip scrubs and my lips did not like it y'all they did not I, you know I got the ingredients a little lemon a little sugar salt or whatever was supposed to be mix it in and it's you rub it on your lips it's supposed to help your lips go back to pink or I guess I just have naturally dark lips my lips is cute though Especially. That's probably another reason why I like to wear lipstick and stuff all the time. Because I don't want the natural color of my lips all like that. And honey, these teeth. Baby, I need some new teeth. All of these things I said I would never do. I did not believe in cosmetic surgery and all of that. But baby girl want a pet. I hate pets, but I want a little dog that fits in my hand. I want some boobs now, I think. And if you get boobs, you might as well get the ass. What's the point of getting the boobs and not get the ass? And I need some new teeth. Yes. I mean, well, I'm not even about none of that. None of that. But okay, I'm ranting and rambling. I'm going to come back with uh, my first bite. This $6 sandwich better be delicioso i'm gonna head to the golden arch and get my french fries they put some something addictive in mcdonald's french fries because they're so bomb mcdonald's french fries with some honey or dipped in some sweet and sour sauce baby i never understood the two lanes because it doesn't make it go faster and you still got to get in a single file line but okay Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let me show y'all the little ass water that Burger King gave me. How do you sell? Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you? Hello, may I just have a um value fry and a sweet and sour sauce? I'm sorry, what? May I have a value fry and a sweet and sour sauce? The value fry? Yes. So it's small fry? Yes. One small fry and one sweet and sour? Sauce? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. They need to get their system fixed. We out in the bougie area and y'all um PA system sound like that. What's going on? The McDonald's in the hood sounds better than that. 
But anyway, I'm gonna pull right on over here so I can try this burger before it get cold. You know how people are like it's better if it's if it's if it's hot and you know all that type of foolishness. Is that all? Okay, can I have my cord back? Thank you. Honey, I was nervous she was about to swipe my card for somebody else's order. And I hope my fries are fresh. I don't be liking to be petty and say no salt because I only be getting a small. <laughs> you be, can I have an, a, a small no salt fries with some salt packets? <laughs> That's just how we be. Like, goodness. All I want is some fresh fries. That's it. And that's all. Okay, so of course they gave me some old ass fries. And I'm not the type like I don't send food back and stuff at the restaurants because I don't believe in that. Like you're not gonna you're not about to play with my food, you know. But they got me parked over here, which is kinda nerve wracking. But she said three minutes. So anyway, meanwhile, I'll try this impossible burger. I already don't like the way it smells. But This is not a paid promotion. Burger King is not sponsoring me and they wouldn't because the only thing I eat from Burger King is the French toast sticks in the morning. But see, look at this. This is so ignorant. Why? Don't nobody say, so now I gotta sit here and pick my bread off like a little kid. Cause I don't like sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are nasty. All right, I picked off enough just so I can try it for y'all. So let's see. I don't even like how it looks. And I don't even like mayonnaise. I should've said no mayonnaise. I like, I'm a Miracle Whip type of gal. Are y'all mayonnaise or Miracle Whip people? I prefer Miracle Whip. But I know most places don't have it. And it not look like they put extra mayonnaise. Amen. They ain't even give me no napkins. I'm so confused. How do people eat without napkins? Let me see if I got a raggedy old napkin in my purse. Cause since I sent my fries back, McDonald's probably ain't about to give me no napkins either. This isn't bad though. Dang, my lips dry, my hands dry. <clears throat> this isn't bad at all. Would I get it again? Hell no, because I'm cheap and I'm not spending $6 on a burger unless I'm going to Fav Gas for the real beef. <laughs> Give me the beef. I'll spend five, six dollars on a five guy burger, but not no Burger King. And especially, I gotta pick the bread off and stuff because it's sesame seed. I hate sesame seeds. Did I say already that I hate sesame seeds? Can't have y'all seeing me with white stuff around my lips. Hello. <laughs> this ain't no porno. And I ain't getting paid. Oh, and um, the little <laughs> water cup that they gave me is hilarious. But it's fine. Oh, this is so good. So good. And then I got my sweet and sour sauce for when they bring out my fresh fries. That's going to be too hot to eat. I have fries. <sighs> oh. 
I, who invented the sesame seed bun? I just want to talk. I just want to talk. When you get that good food. I mean, it's not that bomb, but I'm just hungry. But you know how you do the food dance. Everybody do the food dance. You know when you bite in something or you get something good. You be like, ew. <laughs> mm. Three minutes for fresh fries. Cover my fries, Lord. Cover my fries. And then when I handed them back to her, I was like, mm-mm, because I, you know, ate one out. She was like, small fry, right? Um, yeah, that's right, but they're old as hell. How long these fries been sitting here, sis? Of course I didn't say that. I was like, yeah, can I get some fresh ones, please? Thank you. She's like, she wants some fresh fries. Learn your voice, sis, because I feel like you're being funny. And that's going to be three minutes. I'll wait. I'm paying my hard-earned coin $2 for for uh, a small fry and a sweet and sour sauce. Oh, y'all hear my stomach? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. That's not cute. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Some right here. Let me do my blue, let me go fresh. I'm not gonna right away. I'm gonna eat already. That one's cool right there. Ugh. I don't like mayonnaise. So this thing you're cool with this right here, even more. This is a bit. And it has, it has, you know, it's a little dark around the edges, which is good. Because I like all my stuff well done, including my men, okay? I like dark meat. Yes. Huh. Yes. I'm convinced they put some some addictive ingredient in McDonald's fries. Because they have the best fries. Fight me. I said what I said. I don't like Riley's. I don't like, um, what's the other? Uh, or you know what they could have done. Because I'm going to put you on on something. When I was in college and I worked at McDonald's, when it would get late, don't tell nobody. We would just, like, if the fries been out, we'd put them back in the fryer and drop them back in the grease. Ghetto. When it was getting late, we wasn't pulling out no fresh batch. We had already cleaned up. Cleaned the fry machine. Mmm. But don't tell nobody I told y'all. And my McDonald's was privately owned, so I don't know if other McDonald's be doing that foolery. <laughs> but that's what the hell we was doing. I'm at McDonald's. Oh, let me see if I did my burger, huh? Am I? And, and I always say I'm not the only one. I probably am because I'm one of one. But am I the only one who has to eat one fry at a time? And usually, like I'm so mad I had to taste my burger first. I like to eat one fry at a time, all my fries, and then my, my sandwich or whatever, my chicken. I know. I know, y'all. I'm a little I'm a little weird. It's okay. I've been weird all my life. So I'm eating all that water today. Ooh, I have mayonnaise on me. Let's see. Because when I used to get Big Macs, when I used to get uh, Big Macs where I would get um, double cheeseburgers, and I don't eat, like I can't really I would just pour the sweet and sour sauce on my burger. You know. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it in the middle of the sweet sauce, or we don't try it in honey. It's so bomb. So bomb. Something about the sweet sauce. I love spicy, sweet, tangy, hot. Like, I like all that. I have to mix everything. But anyway. 
I'm sure y'all want to watch me. This done turned into a dang mukbang without the commentary. I'm going to finish eating what I can eat. Y'all know I'm a nibbler. So I'm sure I'm going to have leftovers. <laughs> and make my way up the street because I still ain't even got the singer yet. I mean, it's literally right there. But I had to stop and get something to eat. Because once I go that way, to Bur I wasn't coming backwards to go to Burger King. What side is it? All right. <laughs> well, thank you again so much for watching. Please make sure that you like, you comment, most definitely subscribe, and share. Until next time.